Welcome back to Game of Thrones last episode. We conquered pretty much the entirety of the Vale, actually. We're at a bit of a problem now. We're at a bit of a, um, a, a stopping point, really. We don't really have anywhere else to conquest. Um, we could go for Dawn, I guess, but the only reason they're not under the Iron Throne right now is because they're at war with the Stormlands. And I'm worried that if we go ahead and Dragon Conquest them or something along those lines, what's going to happen is they're going to go back under the Iron Throne and we're going to have to deal with them as well. I'm not sure how the Mega Walls actually work in terms of that. Dragon Conquest of Dawn, taking that entire thing, that would be really, really good though, wouldn't it? Do we want to turn our attention elsewhere? Maybe go for some provinces in Essos, maybe. Uh, maybe go for the Summer Islands. I'm not entirely sure what we want to do right now, but the, our main focus is bringing back magic, obviously. If we can get an immortal character, that's going to make our life a lot easier. The character we're playing as now is pretty much done for. You know, he's, he's done a lot with his life, Odd the Dragon. He was our best character by far. And I don't think we're ever going to do better than this guy. You know, prodigy, tall, prolific, strong, immaculate. All those great things. Unfortunately, infirm. First man to tame and hatch dragon. But our son, Silas, also isn't terrible either. He's also a prodigy. He's getting a really good diplomacy education, actually. Affectionate and curious. Um, obviously, diligent, patient as well. So I think he's going to come out really well. Uh, and he's got that dragon. So if we play as this guy, tame the dragon, become the second dragon rider... We need three dragons to hatch to bring back magic into the world of, of Game of Thrones, in, into the to the world of the Song of Ice and Fire. So we need one more. We're basically waiting for Piggy to lay another dragon. Lay another dragon? Lay another egg, which will obviously become a dragon. I suppose it wasn't that far out. Now, he does have an increased chance of laying an egg, 1.33. Um, the size is not really affecting things too much right now. So what have you said that? Probably the original Soulborn, let's be honest. What have you said that uh, Ravenous has a chance to affect the size so I, I thought that it would just, you know, work as you would expect it to. So if he was age 10, he'd have, you know, 12 or maybe even 13 Marshall. But from the sounds of it, it actually has a chance of firing every um, every birthday. So 1.5 times, there's a chance of it becoming 1.5 times or something like that, I would assume. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on that. But we've got to wait for Piggy to make another egg so that we can hatch three dragons, bring back magic, become immortal, maybe with our next character, hopefully. And becoming the immortal ruler of the Iron Throne would be an awesome way to wrap this series up. We've got a long way to go, though. Obviously, we've still got to take all the seven kingdoms. We really need to be working in the background here and sort of forcing the kingdoms apart. Um, this guy does have an heir, but he's unfruitful and not particularly skilled in much. We've really got to try and break up the kingdoms. How are we going to do that? Uh, let's have you oversee the round. We could sow descent between the Iron Throne, Vassal Liege Opinion Lowered. Now, if we wanted to lower the... Now, I will admit, I rarely, if ever, use sow descent because it's probably the most useless out of all three of these options here. I don't know how sow descent mechanically works, depending on where you put it. So I'm not sure if we put it in King's Landing to lower relations between the king there and their vassal in high garden or whether we put it in high garden to lower the opinion of their opinion of the, the king on the iron throne if that makes sense we really should look this up now i assume as it's vassal liege opinion we would put it here just how i'm reading that uh we're gonna do that and i've also got the priest proselytizing as well to try and bring you know some some unification to our own lands whilst trying to drive apart the iron throne it's gonna be interesting do we want a Dragon Conquest Dawn? That's the big question right now. They've got 22,000 banks, so we could win it probably quite easily. Whether or not they're the Iron Throne would put up with that and want to declare war on us to try and take it back. 124,000 men. They have 288,000 men. If we kill them off, if we if we assassinate him and a child plays instead, we're going to see a lot of rebellions. Guarantee it. We're going to see a lot of rebellions and their army is going to be cut in half because obviously it's based on their, their marshal and their state marshal. And this is a 12-year-old boy with three marshals. So I wouldn't expect very much out of him. Um, you know, we could always head north and start grabbing up these random places in the Iron Throne. Maybe even go beyond the wall and work down. But that's also so far away. It'd be difficult to manage if we get rebellions and stuff. I'm kind of at a loss. Leave some suggestions. While we're on the subject of you lovely people leaving me comments, what do we name that dragon? A lot of you were coming up with names for the dragon. Why do we do it officially? And say, um, what I'll do then instead of doing it randomly, we'll try it a little differently. The top voted comment will be the one, or the, the top vote dragon vote name for the dragon will be the one that I'll pick. So we've got Piggy, we'll have a random one. Now we'll go for what you guys think is the best one out of all of the comments. We'll go for that one instead. Um, that'll be very cool, I think. And then I'll maybe switch between the two. I'll see which one works best, and we'll probably do it like that method in the future. I do like the idea of the random comments, but I figured we'll, we'll at least this give this dragon a chance, you know, give it a cool name rather than, like, you know, Steve or whatever. Uh... 
Yeah. I'll pick the I'll pick the best, most thumbsed up comment in that case, and we'll go we'll rename Senegon in something a little bit better. Uh they are in the Dragon Pit. So we built the Dragon Pit last time, and what the Dragon Pit does is I think it prevents them flying away when we die. Did we lose a lot of buildings here, or is it just there are so many buildings that we've not had a chance to build them? Anyway, what's that Dragon Pit? Uh Dragon Pit, here we go. So size grows so they grow smaller and they die sooner. But the chance of taming and hatching new dragons is much, much higher, and it prevents them flying away. That's what I'm worried about here. If we die and Piggy flies away, we're losing the best dragon in existence. Because that's what it is right now, you know. It's the number one, it's the oldest dragon, it's the strongest dragon. If the other dragon dies, or if they fight, then obviously Piggy is going to win no matter what. So we want to keep Piggy kicking around. And we definitely want to focus on our son as well this time. As for expansion, again, I'm not really sure what we want to do with that. I think we're kind of at a... Should we risk the one? Fuck it. You know what? <clears throat> so, we're going to war with Dawn. <laughs> Sometimes you go impulsive, right? Empires weren't built with, you know, careful thinking and foresight or anything like that. Well, they probably were, but not this one. That's not how this works. Let's go to war with Dawn and try and grab ourselves another kingdom. All right, how do civil wars work? I'm, I'm pretty sure I know not right now. Receive word from Andalos, King Armistead, the Andal. Okay, fair enough. I mean, they've got 68 men, so honestly, I'm not that worried. Not that worried at all. More than enough boats these days. Awesome. Let's get those on there and merge that. Now, we can't lead troops because we are, unfortunately, completely, you know, immobile. We're infirm. We can't get out of bed. Have to have our commanders do it for us. Um, we'll leave these guys behind to defend. Similarly on Lonely Light. What about the troops on the mainland? We don't really need any extras. We've already got way more men than them on the boats already. So we're going to leave these guys behind unless we desperately, desperately need them, essentially. Uh, let's go ahead and disband all of those. 50,000 men. Straighten their capital. Kill their troops. How many men have they got? 22,000? Ideally, if we can beat them before their war with um, the Stormlander Dornish War ends, then we're good. All right. I didn't realize the Stepstones were in... Oh, no, it's not Stepstones. It's Andalos, isn't it? Uh, where are they? They're all the way up here. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't realize there was a Kingdom of Andalos. But, um, I mean, there is. It's not really much to look at. We could always try... You know, taking Bravos or Pentos or something like that. You know, taking some really big kingdoms. The United Kingdoms of uh, Westeros and Essos. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, let's go land in the capital. See, if, see where, where are all your troops right now, then? Uh, can we find some, you know, viable... Or valuable, I should say, commanders? Who have they got? So there's this lady. Where is she? She's all the way over in the Torrentine. Okay, well, we can use that as an indicator for where the troops might be. Obviously, you're not supposed to know. That's why there's fog of war. But uh, we can sort of take an educated guess based on that. Let's split these troops off. They've only got a fort holding of 8, which in this we can siege down pretty easily. 24,000 men a stack. Let's move you guys out of the way. So these guys are going to be the siegers. These guys will be our troops, which is why we want to send the army off with all the commanders to hunt down the troops. There they are. Holy shit. No need for another retainer. Sell it. How much attrition are we going to take, realistically? I mean, we should be reinforcing as well, because they do have my retinues in there. I'm still taking attrition and walking through these. Well, let's hope we keep enough troops around to be able to fight off a stack of about 17,000 men. I think we'll just about break even with it, to be honest with you. All right, how's the caps doing? Let's just assault that down. 25% war score. That's a good start. Um, Yeah, you can have some gold. Right, where are they heading to? The Great Desert. Let's try and catch them. Ooh, actually, they've split off. It's 4,000 men and 12,000 men. If we kill a 4,000, obviously we're not going to attrition down to 12,000 men most likely. So, what's our reinforcement right now, right now, right now? Maximum, really? Doesn't seem very good. We can hire some more. Damn. I'm kind of worried that our troops are going to yeah, attrition away before we can even get there. Um, yeah, I don't care about children getting indolent right now. Prone to accident. Oh, God. Adventure threat? I see just causing a struggle. The Torrentine have joined us. No, uh, that's the uh, Ghost Hills. Sweet. Awesome. Well, that's going to reduce their own troop counts, obviously, if nothing else. We are going to be able to catch these guys. Obviously, if they've moved up here, they're now trapped because there is uh, just mountains up here that they can't get out from. Pretty fun province to play if you're just learning. Right, there we go. Alchemy? Study alchemy like uh, the Mad World playthrough? Yeah, let's do that. All right, 15,000 men. If we attack them, we're attacking into hills, which gives them a defensive bonus. Way more than I thought. This is worrying. Um, right, watch this. Turn the speed down. Oh my god, I forgot how slow... One speed was. It's an absolute crawl. Get out of there. How far? How long until we get? 31st of January? We'll put the speed at speed 2 at least. Come on. We've got to be as precise as possible with this though. 30. 31st. Right. Get you guys over here. 
They're going to reinforce. Now, how long is it going to take them to get to us? Because we might not want to actually move into them. Uh, 12th of February, 13th of February. Let's wait here. Let them come to us. Wait, where did all their troops go? Hmm. Suspicious. Probably didn't need to leave. Um, I'll leave the capital in that case. But, you know, I'm just trying to be cautious here. All right, let's put the speed back up then. Seeing as we're apparently going to win that pretty straightforward. Um, why are there no duchies anywhere? Where are all your duchies? There's a duchy. We're going to siege that one instead. Maybe there's something wrong with her. Poor child. True alchemy is just beyond reach, however. Again, master alchemist. Oh, wow. Awesome. Learning plus one. 200 esoteric knowledge. Didn't realize that was a permanent trait. It is. Oh, shit. Awesome. Right. Well, this one I think we're going to win very, very easily just based on our commanders alone. Look at that. Oh, actually, they've got much better commanders than us. I was looking at the bottom stats. Oh, shit. Well, we're doing really well, so nothing to worry about there. Yeah, that's over. 79% war score. Let's go ahead and finish those off. Get these sieges done. I'm going to assault this even though it's risky. We're going to lose uh, probably about 2,000 men doing that. Ooh, a little bit more than 2,000. Almost 3,000, actually. Whoops. Huh, never mind. You know, whatever. A little straight wrath. Is that really going to do anything for us? Does that matter? Berserker. 95% war score. Oh, shit. I was going to say, I don't know if any of these traits actually... How do we cure Infirm? There is a method you can do it. I think it's only with the Devil Worshippers in the base game, though, isn't it? Maybe it's time to join the Cult of Starry Wisdom. Oh, shit, look at that. Prince's Pass is also joining us. The Army of the Vale will soon join us. Thank you, Sir Anron the Fat. Even though I don't really like having Vassal Kings. Um, that's fine. So we managed to actually take back Harrenhal. If you remember last episode, I left it off. I accidentally gave away an entire kingdom. I got that back. I don't know what happened to the last dude, actually. Um... It doesn't matter. Either way, we've still got to take out the veil from these guys, uh, seeing as they absolutely hate me for some reason. I wonder why. So we do want to probably fabricate evidence of his trees and things like that, but for now we'll wait till we get dawn. Um, what on earth? You close the door to your chamber, and as you approach your personal gold coffer, you spot someone hiding behind it. A one-armed kick makes Lord Reaver Garibald squirm, and the sound of what may be broken ribs accompany a scream of agony. Let him go in exchange for a favor. This behavior is unacceptable. We'll make him swear to never do it again. So this guy was stealing, stealing from our gold, basically. Um, for an infirm man to kick you and break your ribs. That's a pretty poor show from Lord River Garibald Hightower. Now let him go in exchange for a favor. The slaves outside your camp in your capital. They'll be brought to your camp in Pike. Sorry? So we lost the slave camp in Harrenhal and moved them to Pike? Really? Why, why is that? I wonder why that is. We've already got a slave economy there, so I don't know what caused that. Anyway... 99% war score. Um, we've just got to go and siege them, else, because one of the promises that we sieged actually became our allies, basically. Master Stefar enjoys command of your armies, but someone of higher status would be more appropriate. He's only got 11 marshal. Master Stefar has 8. You know what? You make a good point. You actually do. All right. Uh, we can't assault that, because that... Well, holy shit. The last oasis is so fortified. It's a town. It's got almost double the siege protection it needs there. Holy shit. We might as well move somewhere else then, just try and get some easy war score here. I'm really glad a lot of these vassals broke away to join us. That means they might like us a little bit more, I guess. Alright. Put the speed up a little bit more. What do you want? Carl Achaco. He's basically got nothing, so I'm going to decline that. Um, not that he was a member of our family anyway, but... Can Timer of the Trident? Timer of the Trident? Oh, shit. The Adventurer Threat. Yeah, this will be the guy. I guess I must have exiled him. Okay, uh, let's try and kill him off, I guess. Oh, shit, what have I done? You fool. Um, search for an alchemist. Alchemist? No, 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 assassin. Definitely not an alchemist. They can't help us out much right now. How many men's he got? 24,000 men. We've still got 111,000, even though we've lost a load to this war already. This is why I left people behind. Let's try and see just down. 100%. Right, we're done. We've got troops from Dawn as well now. Awesome, right. Nice. Thank you. And I will send him a gift to keep him on side. In fact, I might even offer to educate him myself. Just because... Wait, what? Why can't we educate him? We've only got one ward. Can I not educate him myself? Um, assign guardian. Him. Where, where am I? Oh, there I am. Right. No. Base reluctance because you don't like me that much. Well, let's send him some custom, handmade, legitimate, 100% gemstone. Uh, Grand Royal Privilege. So what this is, is in the Game of Thrones world, or in Westeros specifically, no one's allowed to call themselves king. Besides, because they're all kings, you know, it's the seven kingdoms, but there's only allowed to be one king 
of all of them. You can basically grant this guy a royal privilege, which allows him to call himself Prince, but obviously it, lo it annoys other vassals, because it's sort of that gap between Lord Paramount and King, because obviously we're a king, but we are an emperor-level title. So, it would make him like him. It wouldn't make him like us, I should say. But, I mean, why don't we give him a Valyrian sword instead? What, just generic Valyrian steel? Why not? There you go. Uh, leave him be. And there's your steel. Now, I want to educate this kid just so he likes us more, you know? Having a, having a really powerful vassal become our ward, you know? We could try and make friends with him. Even make him crap if we really want to. Well, we can make the titular kingdom of K, Din, Di yeah, this one again. Uh, sure, I'm going to do that. Why is that then? What is that supposed to represent? Because it's not like we've grabbed anything else that we're not supposed to have here. I don't know why we can still make this weird titular kingdom. Uh, especially since they have the kingdom already. They have the kingdom of Dawn, I assume. Yeah. Weird. Okay, I don't know why that is. But that's another kingdom to add to our collection anyway. So that's going to give us prestige and stuff. So, all right. So we've got the trident. We've got K, Din, blah, blah, blah. Why don't we rename this to uh, um, Steam Screenshot? Why don't we name this to... Friendly, fun, kingdom. And then the adjective will be friendly, fun, kingdom. Because that works. Oh, hang on. Friend, friendly, not friend, fun, kingdom. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right. So, uh, we want to snatch up the Veil title as well. But first, we've got to deal with this damn adventurer. Right, where are you? What's his other adventurer threat? Oh, no, it's just this guy. 28,000 men. Where is he? He's in... Leading troops in the northern coast of Andalos, which is here. Right, so he's probably going to land somewhere around Harrenhal, I'd imagine. So let's get our troops back on the boats. Um, silence? Your flagship silence? I mean, I don't really care about this. Um, it's time to retire her. Keep it in the fleet for 60 gold and give it to a vassal. I think that's probably a good idea. I can only accept the Guardian ship contract between Iron King Arden and Lord Paramount Runsford. That's really, really good. So hopefully we're going to make him like us a little bit. Um, who's this Dothraki dude? What do you want? Marry my daughter, maybe? He does want to marry my daughter. Who is he? Is he powerful, particularly? Um, Tio? Yeah, he kind of is. Okay, sure. You know what? You can marry my daughter. I don't really care. All right. Well, that's given us a decent amount of land. Look at this. Um, given plenty of gold and silver. Yep, there you go. 157,000 men. How many are Dawn actually bringing with them is the real question right now. Uh, not many, but I guess when they're troops... Yeah, total levy is 26,000. That's another 26,000 that we've added to our collection. It will make the Iron Throne think twice before attacking us. Let's put it that way. So we want to send these 16,000 men somewhere to go and cut off. Hey, there they are. Holy shit. Quick, fight them. Can we not, can we not shoot them down? <laughs> uh, where are they heading to? Torrentine Gulf. So their chances are they're going to head up to the Iron Islands. Let's go ahead and raise all our troops in that case. There we go. Now, we don't really know where they're coming from, so we might as well take these troops here. That's 46,000 men. We'll take about 20,000. Probably have them on this coast here. We'll have these guys defend Harrenhal. We'll have these guys come together in the uh, the Duchy of Castamere. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more and that Prince Silas Horn now rides Senegon into battle. Oh shit, he became a dragon rider as well. Holy shit. Diligent, patient, kind. Trained fighter, prodigy. Fashionable, dragon. This guy's kid is so good. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. Right. Um, does the world have room for another dragon rider? I mean, he's our friend. If we make him a commander, two dragon riders on one army, that would be nuts. Oh, I mean, we're not going to be leading troops anytime soon now that I think about it. All right. Hi, Admiral. You all do. We need to do some vassal management after this. Maybe have some feasts and things like that. So where are they? So we are pretty much shadowing them here. Where are they? Where are you going? Eastern Iron Islands. Right. They're going to land there. And they're going to arrive in the Ironlands. Oh, no, wait. They're actually going to attack uh, the Iron Islands themselves. Oh, shit. I didn't stop the boats from moving. Wait. Stop. Okay. Shit. Too late. It's me being an idiot. Alright, let's bring those back. We'll actually just land them. Um, Battle of Seagrave. Wait, what? There's only 3,000 men there. Surely we can catch 3,000 men. Uh, no need for another retainer. Sell it. Okay, we've got some more boats coming up here. Cape Wait, have they only got 250 boats for their army? That'd be pretty funny. Um, they do. Holy shit. So they've basically got to send boats back and forth and back and forth. So actually what I'm going to do then... We're going to embark these troops, and we're actually just going to manually go and find him, wherever the hell he is. Uh, Venture of Threats. What? Is that actually where he is? Leading troops in Lorath. So all of his troops have spawned in Lorath. Send these boats over to Lorath, and just go ahead and kill all of them while they're there. Um, we might as well take some more troops with us. We'll put the ones up in Seaguard here. 
Right, you guys get on there as well. Merge this army. It's got decent commands on there. Not terrible, but at least some, which is better than nothing at all. Um, oh, that's the first lot of the troops. Destroyed 33% war score. That was easy. Um, you're also plotting to kill King Timor of the Trident. Oh, yeah, we are, aren't we? Right. Uh, did he, does he know about that? That wasn't his. No, it's not. Okay, good. Wants control of most of the Vale, funnily enough. We could grant him that and actually he'd be a good vassal. But again, I don't want any vassal kings. I'll make an exception for this guy because he's all the way down in Dawn and we can't really deal with revolts down there, so we want to keep him on side. Right, let's put those troops down as well. Alright. Yeah, there's a weird rebellion. Or a, a weird war, I should say. Do you want to go and fight in Tyrosh? No, I'm not taking sides. There are their men. Now that counts a different province, Lorassian. So we'll go ahead and march them over there and actually move them in. That way they can at least gain some morale. The difference is they're taking a river crossing rather than coming straight off a boat to half morale. So that should give us a slight advantage. They're moving troops out, really. Why don't we wait for those troops to move out then? 17,000 versus 29,000 over a river crossing. I think we've won this fairly easily. Who's Megan? Mahagan. Nope. Not, in not interested. Let her rot. Yeah, we've done it. War's over. Nice. Okay. Throw him in prison and off with his head, I think. Oh, saying that he's kin, though. Oh, shit. Um, damn it, that's a real shame. Okay, well, we've got to send these troops dead back home as well, so. All right, men, on the boats. That's interesting news. Thank you very much. Now, I think everybody else we can just put down fairly safely at this stage. Yeah, they're all in our provinces, so. There we go. Nice. Until next time. Now, let's have a look at our mighty empire. No one will expect foul play on our part. My cook is brought to tell me that a man is on the inside of the prison where Time or sits. He's in prison? Wait, why is he in prison? Did he join? Wait, that's not. Oh, shit. I'm an idiot. That's Time or Hall. We're... <laughs> I was thinking it was this dude. Anrion Breakstone. I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. Report the old council. Kill this man off. Why not? No one expect foul play. One less threat to the establishment, in theory. If we get caught, we're Kinslayer. That's fine. Send the prince commuted. Small private funeral. Let's go rid of this guy next. Now, how many members of House Brightstone are there? 11 living members. We'll incur tyranny taking it back, but, I mean, 11 living members, let's assume half are women. That's not that much murder. That's not actually too much murder at all. Okay, let's go ahead and build a spy network in the capital of the Vale, which is Brightstone. Send him a gift. Nope. Uh, make him the master of the bow. What about an artifact? We've got any more gemstones we can give to him? No. Uh, what about giving him a longsword? We don't need a longsword, so he can have that. I was expecting the damage to the highest tower in Pike when I heard the head of silver appeared outside the window, 50 meters above ground. What should I do with this curious child? Ch child. Curiosity has never killed anyone. 50% chance of him gaining honest. 33% chance of him gaining brave. 10% chance of getting wounded. And 5% chance of getting mangled and severely injured. That's awful. Teach him a lesson. It's me pushing him out of the uh, window. That's probably not a good idea. Strictly for forbidden to climb the tower. Nice sim chance of deceitful. Best outcomes here are brave and deceitful, in my opinion. Um, brave would be really good, but 30 f we're also running the risk there of him being wounded, mangled, or severely injured. I'm going to go with this one. 10% chance of being Craven. Craven we can get rid of. Oh my god, he actually did get in Craven as well. That's unbelievable. Okay, well, I'm glad we didn't pick the uh, Gambler's Fallacy, but I'm glad we didn't pick the 10% chance on the other one then. Otherwise, he'd have been mangled. All right, let's put these troops down. Where are my retinues? Is that all that's left? Holy shit, no way. Well, that is. Oh, to be fair, they haven't reinforced very much, and we don't really have that many retinue troops anyway. Get exactly 10,000. Sweet. Let's do that, then. Okay. The guard's dragging Lodos up from his cell by right of birth or blood and demand trial by combat. Um, personal combat 40. Absolutely. Who have we got? Gilbert Hightower, 60. We've got Vicon of Silkstone with a 70. We've got Lord River Quail and the Young with 50, or Sebastian, the slave, with 30. Vicon of Silkstone. He will fight bravely. I'll stand for you, my king. The Dragon God is in my favor. Awesome. What are our decisions? What can we do? Let's take a look here. Uh, create fake Oh, uh, no, we can't even do that. Donate to the guild. We'll probably do that, though. Just because with the esoteric knowledge, we can eventually make gemstones. Hold a feast. Um, honestly, I really want to join this cult. Find out what they're good for. Cynical hedonist, cannibal, torture of ruthless, cruel, possessed, or lunatic. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, yeah, no, we can do that. 
Cynical is fairly easy to get. It's definitely the easiest out of all of them. Again, we did it last time we joined the scholarship focus, which we're in now. Oh, shit. Okay. Theology focus, I think. Or we could say God is dead. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, I want to join this cult, see if we can, like, magically heal ourselves or something like that. Uh, we'll add him to our court, why not? And we'll sell him for 15 coins. I'm going to leave the slave trade, because you know what? We're really doing nothing for that. So how do we do that? Where is it? Uh, what if I don't want to trade any more slaves? I'm fine with the slave camps, just can't bother to actually deal with every individual. Oh, we can buy Unsullied? That would be awesome. Why have we not been doing that? Let's buy some Unsullied. No Unsullied presently available. Inform me when a new batch is ready. Yeah, definitely do that. So that was the reason I added my own retinues was because the only way to get retinues in this game are by buying Unsullied. Because that's, you know, basically makes sense of the law. Um, oh, shit. Well, it turns out we did it right. It's just we got caught. I've received word that the Master of Laws was trying to agitate, agitate the nobles of the round by spreading lies about me in Catswold. Rest assured, this outrageous behavior will not stand signed King Craig. Shut up. My lord, your master of laws, Reva Quaylen of Casimir, tried to encourage me to turn against my liege. Oh, God. Imprison my master of laws? Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, at least we know that that's how we do it. We got it right. Let's go ahead and give this guy some gold. Oh, God, you really don't like me, do you? Um, why not? What's wrong with you? What have I done to you? Uh, foreigner wants the kingdom of the trident. Liberator versus slave owner. Ambitious, zealous, follow... Oh, wait, am I zealous? Oh, no, he's zealous. Right, I see. I going to say, if I'm zealous, that's going to make it much, much harder to get cynical. All right. Well, that's pretty good. You know what? I'm going to leave it there. Seeing as we're sort of just waiting for events to fire now. Look at that. We've got the whole of Dawn. Let me know what you think about maybe invading Essos as well. Because we're going to need a lot of troops to get this Iron Throne. 358,000 men. We've only got 145,000. We can take all of the free cities in sort of a mass conquest. Because that's essentially what the Valyrians did with their dragons, right? Maybe we should do the same thing. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next episode.